welcome back to Class Culture. It's Fashion Fridays. I hope you are getting an early start to your 4th of July weekend. Shout out to the present. Shout out to the future. Welcome, Replay Group. It's Fashion Fridays, and this is the third installment talking about shoes. First we did sneakers, then we did high heels. Now we're gonna do sandals. Yeah, I, I, I thought about it. I didn't wanna do boots because it's summertime. We'll talk about boots later towards the winter months. Put it that way, yeah. Even though it does rain, it rained a little bit in San Francisco today. I'm like, yeah, let's, let's, let's just, let's hit it. Let's do sandals and shoes plus more. So welcome back to Fashion Fridays. I appreciate you, boo. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Gigi, mm -hmm. aka the emissary. I just enjoy talking about fashion. Every Friday, I come on and we discuss, we demonstrate, we share information. We're here to make sure the culture look good. Mm -hmm. We want to look good. And we're going to do a little history. Mm -hmm. Our ancient Egyptians wore sandals. So yes, oh nasty piece of sandal up there. I think pink is in the summer. Yeah, that, that's a me thing. You can choose whatever color you want. But yeah, just the old nasty piece of sandal up there. Yeah, I'm, I'm going jewels this uh, summer. You know what? You can wear whatever you want. I know costumers that wear clothes as if they lived in 1940. Don't tell, let anybody tell you what to do. And don't tell anybody what to do. If they look good, if they're pulling it off, get into the spirit. Give them a nod. Go, that you look great and keep walking. Maybe they don't want to wear jeans, a t-shirt, and sneakers for the rest of their adult life. No, maybe they don't want to. Maybe they're looking at you saying the same thing. You know, sneakers, jeans, and a t-shirt might mean you're lazy to some people when it comes to fashion. So uh, keep your mouth shut. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, welcome back to Fashion Fridays. You know how we do. We do some visuals. Um, I share some links. We will get more out in, let's just say, the economy as the pandemic lifts. Uh, shout out to the present. Wear a mask. It's not over. Wear gloves. Stop acting like it's over. It's not. Okay. Okay. I'm vaccinated. My family is vaccinated. I suggest you get vaccinated too. No one on planet Earth living in America is, is walking around not vaccinated. You've been vaccinated for so many other things. What is the problem now? I really don't understand. I waited for several you know, versions of it, but I, I got vaccinated on, I believe it was June 5th. Yeah. Fine. Clean as a whistle. Just get it done. That's my suggestion. That's the end of that. Shout out to the future where I'm still here. Knock, knock on something. Let's talk about sandals. Yes. Are you new here? Hit the subscribe button. Watch the replays. Look down below downtown in the description box. Get the playlist because this is just your first one for my day ones and my loyals and my VIPs. Uh huh. AKA the click. Shout out to the diplomats, brass and sass, and the professors. Yeah, y'all know. Y'all know what's up. This is the house of gold. Hearts of gold. Okay, okay, okay. Now let's look at the visuals isn't it nice to be greeted don't black folk always complain about they didn't say nothing to me they ain't nice to black people i just said hello get into that yeah now why aren't they they, oh, they stream yard is on something i don't know what okay here we go so here is the image that I'm sharing you up there. Let me take the banner away so you can see it. It's very elegant, very beautiful. You could wear any coat. Try to match your, your, your nail shellac, whatever you want to call it, color, paint, to what you're wearing. 
that 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 steps up you know you, you it steps it up you wouldn't have no hard um evergreen toe with this sandal no it's elegant it picks up that pink perfectly it's beautiful and do you see how clean those toes are yeah public service announcement Nair your toes. We don't need to see no hair. We don't do Frodo toes. That is my number one pet peeve since the beginning of my existence. Hair on your toes, ladies. You nair everything else. You look down, them whiskers be pointing in all different directions. So yeah, please nair, nair your toes. Okay. But yeah, beautiful. Um, uh, pedicure and gorgeous sandals. I think I showed mine on um, IG. I sure did. Yeah, join the IG. Go. You'll see them on my feet one day, but yeah. Beautiful. So I just wanted to give you a little close up to what's up there in the corner. Mm -hmm. You know how I do. I get organized. I, I clean as I go. So, do you like to wear sandals? A lot of ladies don't. I, I found that interesting. I was just having a discussion with some of my girls, and they were like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, really? Don't you like to let your toes out? Let the breeze hit them? Let you give your toenails some shine? Go to a, a, a salon. It's safe now. Well, you know, within reason, you know. But, yeah, I do my own. I mean, come on. I mean, I'm, I'm not taking no, you know, glamour shots of my feet. But you, you can pull it off until you feel comfortable and do your own. Unless you have a back problem. I get that. Some people can't do it. You know, ask for it as a gift. A, a, a pamper day. Right? Uh, I mean, really, honestly. I cut my nose. My, my nose, Chuck. My nails on my toes like every fourth or fifth day because they grow so fast. I do it in the shower because I don't like to cut my nails when they're hard. I like to cut them when they're either I'm in the shower or right after I get out the shower because they're still soft. Because I cannot, I'm not going to be like trying to cut. Toenails are thick and then they're supposed to be, right? Okay, so what's the next thing? If I want to show something next, if I want to go on. And then I'll let you know how many things we're going to look up and all that other stuff. Okay, yeah, I'm going to wait. Yeah, I'm going to say that to last. Okay, so what are we going to look up today? And again, welcome back. All right, so we are going to look up types of sandals, fashion sandals 2021, sandals in history, and one, two, three, four, webby. So first thing types of sandals so let's do that first i enjoy this because not only am i educating myself i don't know why that that's not right um i'm educating someone else i i really don't understand people who um types of sandals first Deirdre. but let me see i'll be talking and, and trying to do this at the same time who behave as if they know everything. I, I don't, that that's not genuine. Every day you should learn something new or you should engage with something or someone speaking about something that interests you. It might be, it's the first week in July. Um, it might be your first time buying a pair of these shoes or looking for these shoes. Or you can have me, you can have Gigi on your phone when you're in the shoe department. Go, oh, okay, what does she say about sandals? You know what I mean? Experiment. Your foot is beautiful. Your foot is, is, is everything. I shout out to people who are not mobile. You know what I mean. Some people don't want to show their feet for whatever reason. There's all different types of sandals. You don't have to have your toes out. And then people go, yeah, you're right. Like that shoe right there. You don't have to have your, you don't have to have all your toes out. There's some shoes that are enclosed. 
or sandals. Sorry. You know I was going to uh, screw that up. So, yeah. But you don't, and you don't have to always do your nails, but have them done. Have them neat. So you're not self-conscious. Let your toes out. We were, you know, we were meant to just walk on our feet, don't you? You can wear these if you don't like your toes. There's all types of shoes that we, I don't care. It's not about your toes. Even though that, that pink is cute. But you shouldn't be walking around in the summer with big heavy shoes on. Come on, treat yourself. Your feet do, you, people would rather buy wigs instead of good shoes. Or your feet is doing all the work. Uh, treat them nicely. This is absolutely adorable. She she did she she could have got a cute little a line number, but she says, "Oh, I don't think so. I got I got things to do." That looks perfection. It, it matches the purse. Every time you see an image like that, they're they're purposely putting the purse in the uh you know right in the middle of the screen just to let you know. They, they're matching. That's the point. They're, they're talking to you, saying if you're going to do that, make a match. But, yeah, it, it, even if you don't like your shoes, you know, and there's our beautiful. Um, no, those were not my feet. <laughs> I can show you my feet if, if you want to see them. But th those will be over in IG. But, yeah, men wear sandals. Women wear sandals. Children wear sandals. You can wear sandals. Um you can get away with wearing sandals in a formal setting. I'll show you. And as casual as you like. Okay. I personally don't wear high heel sandals with my toes out. For me, it's uncomfortable. I need something tight, right? And I could kick, kick a horse if I had to. Yeah, but yeah, even for men, your sandals can be enclosed. So a lot of men don't like their toes. That's fine. I don't, I don't need to see them if you don't want me to see them. So let's go back to where we were. Sorry, it's going to take me all the way back. I shouldn't have did all that. It's fun just to be looking though because I'm nosy. Okay, so here it says nine common types of sandals. We will go into way more than that, but let's just talk about it here. Sports sandals, flip-flops, everyday flats, um slides wedges gladiators there was a minute there in history for like seven years straight y'all when i was in my 30s you know i was a uh, running around being a mom that those were my shit my feet looked good in gladiators i don't really have any modern ones that you know but that that was my thing for a minute but yeah i've moved on and then it here says here casual mid heel sandals now it's going to get kind of confusing i'm going to stop sharing that you can do more research on your own but some of these images i looked at i said well that's a sandal but yeah some it just depends you know whoever you're whatever the designer says it is it, 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 it is. But as us, us as um, consumer shoppers, what you ain't nobody talking to us in our head. We can call it whatever we want. Look on the side of the box and see what they say. You know, it's interesting. But when you're in the industry, you have to use the correct. Um, you know, every culture or whether it's the culture of a business or uh, the culture of a people has a name for something and we'll talk about that but when you're working in the industry you use the correct word don't say that sandal and it has a heel we're gonna we're gonna go over that the correct verbiage okay describe it exactly for what it is elevate your lexicon right somebody's always texting me i love you guys okay so what did i say I said fashion sandals 2021. Yeah, well, so let's just dive into that. What are they talking about? Here, when you pull down the search box, can you see? Yeah, you can see. Yeah, yeah, I'll stay on screen. Um, when you see, when you pull in, pull, when you punch in, 
Fashion Sandals 2021. Then you have other suggestions. Summer, popular women, celebrity, ladies. Okay, enjoy. Here they give you a list of six cute summer 2021 trends. Trends does not mean throw everything away. Trend does not mean that looks good on you, but guess what? 2014 looked fly as hell on Gigi, and that's where I'm going to stay. A uh, 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 mule for me, you know what I mean? So everybody is different. Some people don't wear heels. Some people's legs are thicker than the others. Some people don't like to show their legs. Different cultures where you can't see what's on their feet. You know, it just, it, who cares? It's up to her and him what they want. You know, if you were paying me $5,000 to walk a catwalk, I'll put on whatever you want. Until then, honey, uh, excuse me, I'll do what I want, right? Now, these are some of the trends, past, meaning the designers, um, let's just say, were inspired to put this in their uh, collection. So pastel sandals, okay. Uh, and here they, they describe it, ace mule, okay, heeled slide. We're going to go over all of this. Sporty sandals, and then it's a leather plat flat form. And then here, a bandana sandal. Interesting, right? Uh, cushioned flip-flops, quilted slides. And here it says cushioned flip-flops, dot, dot, dot. We're, we're going to talk about other things. Square shoes are back in. I, I love old nasty square heel. Heel and the shoe. Okay, or the tip, the toe. I, I love it. Okay, square toes. Um, I have old nasty uh, faux fur sandal I'll be sharing with you during my next haul. Okay, Gigi's feeling better, so I'm ready to get it, kick it off. Um, shout, again, shout out to 4th of July. Everybody's getting ready. If you have Monday off, good for you. That'll be so cool. Maybe, maybe I'll do my haul Monday morning. But yeah, I've, I've already uh, kicked off this weekend and there's no way, I promise you, I can be on the screen. It's, we, we all good. We all good. But yeah, those are some of the trends I wanted to share with you. I'm not going to show any of the images because we have other things we want to look at. More on the, it's the plus more. Okay. So what is next? We are going to talk about sandals in history. You know how we do over here culture. I actually mean it when I say that. Yeah, that's what we, that's, we're going to be proud of who we are, what we put on our feet, how we take care of ourselves, how we dress, how we fashionista. Yeah, here it says the oldest known sandals and the oldest known footwear of any type were discovered. They say here, this is what they say, we're going to talk about other things, but I don't mind reading this because as you can see up there, they talk about the Egyptians, biblical sandals, and there's an actual pair probably found in an excavation or, you know, how the uh, archaeologists find things. But I like to read this. The oldest known sandals uh, were discovered in Fort Rock Cave in the USA state of Oregon. So shout out to Oregon. I'm not mad at them. Now, you know there were shoes in Africa a millennium ago, but it's okay. They're just saying known, found, and they were probably preserved because they're in a cave. See, everything in Africa is eaten by termites and bugs. A lot of African tribal people, even today, don't even wear shoes. They don't, they don't have to. We weren't meant to wear shoes, to be honest with you. Right? I don't know about you, but I scrub these heels every day. If you wait three days, baby, it's going to be like a thick uh, uh, situation uh, happening. Okay? But that, actually, they are, they're meant to do that, actually. But they tested them, and I can appreciate the fact that they were found. Here they say they are at least 10,000 years old. The word sandal is Greek. 
for sandalin. Isn't that cool? Right? Now, here is some interesting things. Again, we know that they were before that. These are the or oldest found. And I thought that was interesting being in California. I'm like, oh, wow, well, maybe that's someplace I'll visit because I'm nosy like that. Let's just take old nasty. You know, you know how I do. So the history of footwear during the old times in antiquity. And now this is the, I can get into this, you know, uh, back, 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 you know, before the Bible and all that. The first sandals emerge in ancient Egypt. So there you go. I'm not, I, I get away from fighting. Well, they shouldn't say that. Did it? Well, they still have to record what was found and where. And it's okay. Shout out to the independence of America. I want to know when the first pair of sandals was found in America and, and why and how old they are. What's wrong with that? That's all they say, right? So, yeah, this is cool. The, they emerged in ancient, ancient Egypt, and they were made from palm leaves, papyrus fiber, and raw leather. These sandals were stretched and tied at the end of the foot. Cool. So sandals have been around. You're supposed to go buy you some, a cute pair of sandals once a summer. In every style, get a dressy one, an everyday one, and a sporty one. And an old nasty, I'm Queen Sheba, I, I, drive me up to the door, right? Treat yourself, it's your foot, take care of it. Okay, so you can read the rest of this, but yeah, I wanted to get into that. Now, now let's get into the sharing. Which one do I want to go to first? Yeah. And I'm going to take this away, if you don't mind. We've had enough of that. Thank you for being here. All right, what's the first one that I want to take you to? Okay, nine common types of sandals that you should know about. So this is when you hit after you put in, you know, um, I, what was it? I forgot which one. Where the first nine, it had eight. And when I hit it, this is what came up. And I said, and I read it. I said, oh, okay, this is cool. It's called Flojo's, okay, and it is a shop. I have no affiliation. I don't care. I like I like going around the YouTube streets and and discovering things. And I say, you know what? Why not? It, it's the it direct link to what I just showed you. Why not? I don't think I've done that before, have I? I mean, I've sh I've shared with you how I've found things, but I've I've never really did it that way, have I? So, nine common types of sandals that you should know about, okay? Uh, sandals are a timeless type of footwear. Even sandal styles that date back to the ancient times are still fashionable today. Okay. Oh, gladiators. I just, I, I had to pause for a moment and go, oh, I had a moment. Uh, baby, they just fit my feet. I like a shoe, I don't care what style and what attire I'm wearing, it has to grab my foot or I'm uncomfortable or, or I get a, a old nasty, you know, blister because I'm slipping and sliding. No, I have to be tight in my shoe. I'd rather have tight shoes than tight jeans and all that crap. No, that's not healthy. I need air. But yeah, I... Mm -mm. It has to be on my foot. I'll even buy, I can wear anywhere, depends on the type of shoes, from a six and a half to an eight. Isn't that weird? Are you guys the same way? And one foot is larger than the other. Mm -hmm. Not everyone lives in a place where sandals can be worn year round. That's true. But those who can't wear them all year round eagerly anticipate the day when they can. I know I do. I love warm sun on my feet. I love that. I love it. So here you can read the definitions. We are, we got a lot to go over. Sports sandals, flip flops. Now here they talk about mistakes, some more flip flop info, styling, mm -hmm. 
tips for beach, right? Okay. Everyday flats. Now everybody can relate to that. And I'm talking men, women. This is everybody got a foot. Okay. Men wear heels. So miss me. There are no man heels. No, just get over it. If it fits you, you like it, buy it. Some men have slim feet. They won't tell you, but the, so a lot of them have to go to women's department to buy shoes. They do. And no one cares. I, I know I don't. Dressy flats, slides, wedge, sandals, gladiators. No, I will. I'm, I'm over it. I'm over it. But yeah, I, I try a nasty gladiator. I promise you, you will not go back, men and women. Casual mid heel sandals, dressy high heel sandals. And here they say a brief word. One thing that's kept sandal styles around and continually refreshed for millennia is their ability to adapt to shoe trends generally. Sandals never go out of style, you guys. Never. And just just go shopping and find the perfect pair for you. Sandal shopping to me is so fun. Take your own footy. Never put your naked foot in a sandal in a store, please. And thank you. Come on now. You a whole grown person. I can't even believe I'm telling you that. Go treat yourself to a Dollar Tree, uh, uh, one dollar sale on. They not even on sale. They're a dollar pair of socks because they're real thin. And and come on now. And then test and walk around with two pairs of sandals. Do not walk around with two of the same sandals. You know, pick out two. Put left on left, right on right, and walk around on both of them. I, I guarantee you, you'll decide which one is more comfortable first. Maybe I'll do a visual like that one day. I do it anyway. So somebody taught me that a long time ago. They're like, no, oh, you don't put the same, but you, you compare, especially if you're torn, which one you, I don't really do flipping flops unless like it's a shower or it's a quick run to the I don't know, uh, backyard, you know what I mean? I, I don't, I don't drive and flip and flops. I can't, I can't do it. I don't, I don't know how people can do that, but anyway, that's me. Um, what's next. Okay. So that was the first website. Let's go to bling sparkle. Don't you love that name? That that's the shoes I'm going for this summer. Bling sparkle. You can wear them with jeans, work with a swimsuit, Get your sparkle on. I'm, I'm just getting to the age, you guys, where I do what I want. And it's fun. <laughs> Bling and a sparkle. Let me get the right. Okay, yeah. Here it is. This talks about, yes, 35 different types of sandals. Okay, that's crazy, right? And I my is it as large as I can get it? Let me see. Yeah, that's as large as it's gonna go, you guys. Mm-hmm. 35. Woo! That went fast, right? So you you can read all of the good things. Like, look at this sandal right here. This slide. Good for her. Maybe she don't like her toes out. It's okay, honey. I, I don't need to see your feet. And don't be rude and asking people. That, no, that look at her shoe. She might have put old nasty $80 on it. Appreciate them. Yes, they are still. Check your local uh, yellow pages or whatever. Google it. They are still. I just call them cobblers. Shoe repair stores out there that will brighten up, refurbish, and bring back to life any real piece of leather on planet earth. I adore it, but I'm not really, um, rough on my things like that. I take care of them. So let's talk about sandals. Oh, nasty gladiators. No, they're not calling me. I promise you. So let's just go with the names. Okay. So hang in there with me. This is fun because you'll get to click all of these links down below in the description box. So we have our gladiators number one. Okay. With a, look at the skirt. That's a party 
free skirt. She can go anywhere. Jellies. Remember jellies? They're still here. I remember when they first came out. Mm -hmm. uh, rope sandals. Not really for me. Remember what I told you? I have my, my, my sandals and shoes have to grab me. Now, if I'm at a backyard barbecue and I'm just sitting there, okay, maybe, but no, I, I can't. I would rather wear the thongs because my, I can grab onto it. But, you know, sometimes at the end of the day, if your feet are tired, it means you're working way too hard. They're not secure or tight. Now, I thought these, this was interesting. It's called salt sandals. And I want salt sandals. Like wellies, is that what they mean? But that's how they describe them. But uh, they say they're a must and they're suitable wear in the water or the around the pool. And I'm like, well, just say that. I've never heard of salt water sandals. But anyway, you know, wellies are plastic. You can wear, you know, it's a rainy day in the summer and you wear a little a nasty boot, whether it's the ankle or the calf. Boho sandals are cute. Right. And I know you've seen all of these. If you haven't, what are you waiting for? Go uh, uh, window shopping. Go walk around a, a shoe store. It's the fun and the shopping for me. Do that first before you spend money. No, you don't have to have money to spend to go shopping, to look around in a mall. Go get some exercise. We've been sitting around uh, getting fat together uh, for a whole year. Get up and go. T-strap sandals. Not my thing. They're cute. But uh, to me, it's almost like I'm looking at a naked foot, you know, but I get it. Some people like it. Some people like it. They're cute. The wedge sandal. Okay, I'm trying to get the word and the sandal in. It's not working. Okay. So you get the gist, right? Chunky sandals mule flats, you know, for the girl or the guy that don't like their toes out. You don't have to. Don't be shy. If a man wanted to wear that shoe, I, it's a leaf. Who cares? It's pretty. Strappy sandals. I might could get away with that because my ankle is secure. But no, I know my feet. I would have sores. I would be tired. My baby pinky toe would left one be screaming at me i i'm not doing it now this was interesting the dad sandal was a chunky sole it gave maximum foot support and it was worn in the 30s and 40s by men so if a man wanted to go in a woman's shop and put those on and and vice versa ladies if you go in a man's shop and you want to go to nike I, I'm always shopping over in the men's department because sometimes their stuff looked how I want it to look. It, there's no rule. So here's the sports sandal. Toe loop. Isn't that cute? Right around the toe. It's wrapped. Wedge sneakers. Don't ask me why that's in sandals. I don't know. Just let them do what they want to do. Yeah, lots of celebrities love these. I don't know why but they like them running away from the paparazzi, right? Hiking sandals. I would never, I, I will stub my toe at home going to pee at night. I gotta, that's no, I don't, I don't need no scratches and bumps on my toes. Plus the bugs, right? Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Platform sandals. Okay. Slide sandals. Those are cute. But see, that's at home for Gigi. I can't do that outside. I'm, what if I got to run from a bear? You know, I can't be doing it. I'm sorry. Uh-uh. Espadrilles. Okay. Again, if you don't want to show your toes, you don't have to. But you don't have to suffer a whole summer not wearing your foot out. Flip-flops. And Now, I do some old nasty flip-flops by the pool and in showers. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that when I travel. Clear sandals are cute. Okay. Um, there's a heeled one. Embellished sandals. Now, my shoes and the shoe I shared with you earlier, that will be considered embellished. And here's um, 
a loafer sling back. That's very business, very professional, very nice. You can wear that at work. Sculptured heel sandal. I went, what? Just call it a fancy, you know, or something like that. But yeah, I have a nasty pair I purchased for this summer. You'll be seeing them. I love them. Not like this, but these are awesome. This reminds me of all my art, art friends. Okay. And I love these. I, I'm a bit of a, a, a shoe snob and I would definitely buy this even though it was a trend, even though that shoe may have been made like four years ago, it could still work today. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Okay. I think they're fun. Those shoes to me never go out of style. Clogs, leather sandals. Okay. Now this is pronounced colapri. Colapri. And they're just in a type of Indian sandal. I thought that was interesting, but I was like, oh, I've seen a million of those. But that's the name. I'm sure I'm pronouncing it incorrectly. Uh, sorry. But he, aren't those beautiful? The wedges. Look at the embroidery. That's a piece of art. Of course, I'd invest in something like that and wear them on special occasions. Greek wrap sandals. The the uh, the um the zipper must be in the back. I'm 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 sitting here thinking how did she get her foot in there? But yeah, those are pretty. I like them. Nothing here is ugly. It's just about what you like. Now Birkenstocks um are from Germany, and I remember when I was first serving there. I'm talking. My kids must have been like two. Well, long story short. When my mom passed and I was uh, gathering all her um, items, she had a, a pair that she bought back when she came to visit us. And I gifted them uh, to um, someone in my family. And I said, you know, these are like authentic ones from Germany. And they're like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, they, they're, they just exploded in the 90s. Yeah, from Germany. I don't, it was a thing, but yeah, not, not my cup of tea, but yeah, I can just remember that just brings back so many memories. I don't think they're ugly, but they're comfortable. High heel sandal. So remember we talked about high heels and I was kind of alluding to the sandals of what I was going to talk about, but definitely these are stilettos. They're very high fashion. They're very gorgeous, but it's still a sandal. The shoe is out. The foot is out. I mean, come on. You can see it. It's beautiful. You have to be groomed, meaning no dirt, no grime, no scales. Definitely go get a pedicure prior to wearing that. Now, don't ask me why they have these in here. I, I have no idea. I saw that. I went, huh? Am I missing something? I'm like, no, they were just, I don't know. They make mistakes, too. So definitely high heel sandal, okay? Multi-strap sandal, right? Now this is important when they're making these, when they're planning them, when they're talking. That's a, a beautiful manicure. You don't see no hair. So, okay, you've been making that mistake. Well, guess what? You Welcome. Gigi got you. And you'll never go without nearing your toes ever again. Okay, good for you. Uh, <laughs> lace up sandals. Aren't those cute? I could do those because see, I, I'd feel secure and I'd do them real, real tight. So I could do those. Uh, woven flats are cute. I've seen people wear those. Crochet sandals. Those are cute. Mm -hmm. Sling back pumps and nair them after you go to the pedicure because you don't want your tender toes getting scrubbed and slapped and yanked and hot watered and scrubbed. Yeah, do it after. Okay. Sling back pumps. Now, I love old nasty sling back. Those are cute. I could do those. Okay. So enjoy that link. Right? You never knew, right? Mm-hmm. 
So it's 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 a, number one. It's an investment. Number two, everyone's foot is different shape. Number three, every style is going to look different on you, right? The uh, Bernices of the Egyptian times, married to their pharaohs, had custom-made sandals. Well, we don't have that luxury. We have to go to the store, search, uh, uh, find, and destroy. I shop all year long for all types of shoes. I might the pair of boots I found um, that I have that I'm going to be wearing went on sale in March, in spring, that I'm going to be wearing this upcoming fall. Because why? They were on sale for $75. I don't know what y'all are doing. Just go look. Just go look. You'll find some great deals, especially, you know, they ca they're calling it, I think they're calling it, the uh, what are they calling it, Macy? The COVID sale or something, some little, you know, funny saying. What did they say? I meant, to, I was standing in line and said, oh, I'm, I'm going to write it down on my receipt. And, you know, of course, you know me, squirrel, I forgot. But how did they call it? I'll, I'll let you know next time if I remember. I'll put it in the uh, description box when I ask them. Because you know what I do too, you guys? This is kind of off topic. You know how you your boxes tear or they get all mashed up? Well, I'm not so picky that the right shoe has to be in the right box. I will go to Macy's or wherever your favorite shoe store or shoe department is ask for their boxes because they're good and sturdy because a lot of people don't take them home and replace i only do like two or three at a time but they'll give them to you and then you can make your um you know use them for anything crafts whatever crayons and uh spruce up your shoe box okay situation in your closet so i do that too okay so what's next okay so we're going to go to, which one do I want to do first? I want to do, I'll just see which one I want to hit first. Because we only have two more, right? Let me make sure. Oh, I forgot to, okay. Colaper. Colaper. That was how to do that. I'm like, why is that open? That sandal? Colaper. Colaper. Okay. And that was that. Because I was like, what is that open? Okay, so let me close that. Now I have three here. I have to figure out, you guys, what is the extra one I have open? So this one is... Oh, okay. I forgot to... Okay, we're going to go to Artifice. Let's go to Artifice first, and we'll save that last one last. Let me see. I'm being nosy. Yeah, we'll save that one last. It must have been something on there that I wanted to share with you guys. I just have to remember to copy it. So let's go there first. It's a letter A. Here we go. Now, you know I'm, I'm into costuming. And I like to uh, research a topic from inside the industry and on the outside. You know, people buy shoes. They don't know how it's made. They don't care what it's called. They just buy it because they like it. But I like to look at both sides of the spectrum, right? And in all genres, whatever you want to call it. Now, you know, I'm a nasty cosplayer. So this was a great website because they talk about film, TV, animation, anime, manga, manga, or however you want to say it, comics, games, literature, arts, and writing. So this is a great website. I'm going to go ahead and bookmark it. Okay, what do I, yeah, here we go. All right, so now the reason why I pulled this up because we were talking about periods in time, you know, 10,000 years, 450 BC, a million years ago. Okay, it, it is what it is. But if you're trying to recreate something, do your research, right? So here they're talking about costume. Mm -hmm. And they also talked about sandals. So give it a minute. We'll get there. Okay. Heritage trauma. I mean, I, just, I could spend a whole year just researching, you guys. 
to bring a, a scene alive, to make it authentic, right? That's, that's so much fun. Mystery. Okay, let me focus. <laughs> Shout out to the playlist, uh, production playlist. Now, where was I going with this? Here, it's in the title. Beyond corsets, swords, and sandals. Okay, so did I? Okay, let me see. Let me focus because they refer to it here. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. They're just talking about the quality of historical, uh, I would say nonfiction as well, the accuracy and authenticity and all that other stuff. Okay. Historical sources. Because people really judge you. Well, that hat wasn't made until 1954 and your period piece is in 1930. You're like, okay. You know, so a lot of people are that personal about it they they take they get mad they really do okay so what is it costume drama i should have had this highlighted oh whatever we're here together i'm just looking at it let me see it was a piece in her and i can't, now i can't find it <sighs> shout out to all my costuming friends Okay, well, maybe it's somewhere else. You know how I do. Sometimes I don't, I forget to pick it apart for you prior to getting there. I, I'm still sharing it, though, because the closer we get to the fall, the more costuming I'm going to be discussing. Because I can, right? By then, I will have talked about all I wanted to talk about. We're going to go into designers and things and all that good stuff. But it's not here. I'm sorry. Or maybe it is. Let me see. Oh, well. It's probably one little sentence. I, it's been a long day. I'm sorry. I, I can't figure where it was. If you find it, let me know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think, yeah, I, I think I screwed up and didn't open it where I needed to just read it to you. And it's okay. It's called being human. I really, I will forget about it as soon as we done. Okay. Until I come back and go, oh, don't do that again. Right? No, I don't see it. It's probably at the top, right? How about I just, okay, close your eyes. I'm going to go real fast. How about I just read it? And then it'll probably be in here, right? <laughs> okay. There seems to be a lot of history on television now. I don't mean on the history channel. They mean everywhere. Cable, network, everywhere. Uh, while the 80s shown in or for show, show us, good grief, an era for um, the era of British and Roman history. Okay. Contemporary society has embraced the adaptation of history for modern audiences. And that's true in film because remember the beginning of the, uh, you know, 1900 to like 1950s, Westerns was the thing, right? And then the 60s and on were what? Cleopatra, Ten Commandments. And then sci-fi, you know, and then... Here we are, you know, uh, Game of Thrones, things like that. So it, it, if you look at it that way, it makes perfect sense, okay? No longer solely the property of highbrow BBC a special. Shout out to the BBC. I've been watching BBC all of my life. And Epic Adventures, historical fiction has branched into a number of subgenres, each with different core demographics, demographics, aesthetics and tone. <laughs> I don't know. I've been drinking uh, Gatorade. I feel, I, can feel, I feel like I can do the basketball right now. Okay. <laughs> it's so yummy. I cut out all soda, so I, I'll, I'll balance it out. I'm pinging off the wall right now. Okay. So yeah, that's, I don't know why. I hate it. I'll leave it until I'll cut it off. Oh, that's what I wanted to say. Okay. I'm gonna leave it alone. You can read the rest. 
We'll figure it out together. Okay, what's the next one? <laughs> We're under my hour. It's okay. I know you like to hang out with Gigi. You know you do. Okay. So what's the next one? History of sandals. And then the last one. And let me go ahead and make a copy of that. Edit. Oops. Copy. And you know how we do. Mm -hmm. You know how we do. Everything is downtown below in the description box. I'm going to copy it. I love just coming out here putting uh, this kind of content on my channel. You need a break, right? I do. That's why I'm doing it. So this website is fashion-history.lovetoknow.com. So really love to know.com. So go to the, um, the homepage and love. You will fall in love with this website. They obviously... We're talking about sandals today. They're trying to sell me some Air Jordans. They are a mess. But anyway, sandals are the oldest and most common found foot covering worldwide. That's why we have to discuss it, right? Archaeological examples uncovered from Anasazi culture, right? Sorry if I screwed that up. Of the American Southwest date back eight thousand years these plaited or braided and woven sandals provided a flexible protective sole and utilized a simple v-shaped strap okay so look over here you guys now you know i'm gonna bookmark that mm -hmm. Look, fabrics and fibers, fashion accessories, clothing industry, fashion industry. Now, I like how it says clothing industry. When people think fashion, they think, ooh, designer. No, it's just a word. Relax. Clothing. Fashion, history, and eras. Ooh, I can't wait. Sandals are most commonly found amongst people. Okay, of hot weather climates where searing sands and rocky landscapes inhibited, inhabited, oh sorry, with poisonous insects and thorny plants. And plus it would have inhibited their travel and their trek for that day. That hurt, right? Uh, necessitated the, the development of the most basic form of foot covering. And you can read the rest. I mean, come on. But it's so cool. Now, here they talk about Africa. Nomads developed inventive soul shapes to allow for better movement in desert terrains. The sub-Saharan, now Hausa, I'm sure I said it wrong, used sandals with large soles that extended well beyond the foot, while curved soles were utilized in Uganda and rolled toes were developed in Saudi Arabia. In more humid climates, sandals were preferred for their cool breathability. The ancient Aztecs and Mayans of Central America adopted a thick soled sandal with a protected leg attached. What? With a protected leg. It was a boot. I mean, come on now. Attached to the heel while the top of the foot and skin or shin remain exposed. Are they going? They going? They going in too much? Just show us a picture. But anyway, this was a really good webby, and I wanted they talk about Alexander the Great and all this other stuff. Enjoy it. I bookmark it. I I mean I always revisit what I share with you, but it's very interesting, isn't it? I mean that's what I think. Look at Nike. Relax. Okay. So enjoy. And here is how they cite C I T E their resources. So even if there's no such thing as bored, don't nobody is intelligent if they use the word bored. Miss me. Because isn't it fun to go look at this article? Women shoes in America, 1795 to 1930, uh, from Kent State University. There it is. 
shoemaking. Okay? Ferragamo. Okay? Ferragamo, Ferragamo. I've heard people say it both ways. Okay? So enjoy. And now the last Webby, because I don't want to keep these longer. I don't want these to be longer than an hour. It's kind of fun, too. And I got a couple things I'm going to show you. And that's down below as well. This is called uh, Mama in Flip Flops. <laughs> that was cute. And I'm like, oh, I said, Coles. I say you go, Coles. So now this is an old um, article, but I read it and it still applies. But I love the name Mama and Flip Flops. So this is a, a vlog or a blog with a B. And I thought it was interesting. And I told you guys I'm working on my website and all that good stuff. So I'm looking at all of this and oh, oh. Yep, definitely a nasty bookmark. Here we go. There we go. But yeah, I was like, oh, I like this. There's the picture. And see, as I'm talking about, right, in the future, when I'm getting ready to make a video, I can do this for my website. And I'm like, oh, I really like this. Yeah. And here she's talking, like, just like I spoke about them, uh, different types of sandals. You can actually hit, now hers is in pink. It's really kind of hard to see. I would have chose a different color. Sorry, not sorry. But I would click on, you would click on and see what she's talking about. And she's in them. Isn't that cool? So I, I was like, oh, I like that. You know, incorporate it into what you're doing. So she went, she went all in. She got a pair of each of one of these and did her thing. Okay. And she's also in a, um, a retailer so yeah it's kind of cool and I, now I saw a bunch of names and those are people leaving comments but I was like no I'm not gonna say I mean there's her there's Andrea but there's it looks like some other people are involved in uh, this website um, when I hit beauty and makeup it's just her discussing it and I was like oh cool yes this is exactly what Gigi's looking for so, yeah, another bookmark. I kind of started doing this over on my IG. And as I progress, you guys, thank you for, I'm, do, I'm doing it in front of you. So you, someone else who wants to do this, uh, join me. Don't be shy. And then when I, I, um, when I produce a better picture and image, I'll take the old one down and replace it with something better. Like she gets glossy box. I get glossy box. So I like this. I was like, oh, okay. This is exactly what I want my website to look like. So let's look at uh, what, what else you want to, guys want to look at. You know I'm big on holidays, but fit and fabulous. Okay? Because, you know, I'm going to be going to the gym in a couple of weeks. Walking, whatever she's doing. Yeah. Okay. I just think it's cool. So, yeah, I, I like it. I like it. I'm being nosy now. But let's, let's do um, holiday gifts. Because, you know, I old oh, nasty vlogmas. Now, you know, it's a thing called Christmas in July. I'm going to be doing something for that. It's going to be fun. I'm not going to do every day like vlogmas. No, vlogmas is December. I'm not going to water it down. That would be sacrilegious, but no, I'm going to do something for the 25th of July. Haven't figured it out yet, but we're going to have our Christmas in July. I promise you. Maybe old nasty marathon. Mm -hmm. So yeah, when you see my website, it might look a little something like that. Okay. So last but not least. Yeah, that was it. I just want to make sure. Okay. But last but not least, I wanted to show a couple of visuals and that's it for the shoes i think that's enough right mm -hmm. but there's no way i could have squoze that into no that, no no <laughs> one more time no i know how to uh, uh uh branch it all out oops what am i doing okay so yeah we talked about that okay we, i showed you that one Again, I think we covered everything, right? Let me take the banners away. 
get the, you're going to still see my name back there. It's okay. We covered everything, right? There you go. So we did Kitten Hills. We talked about the block. Mary Jane Dorsey. I don't think we spoke individually, but I showed them to you. The spool, the pin, the stiletto, pump platform, open toe, peep toe, slingback, sandals, gladiator, T-strap, ankle strap, cone, curved, wedge claw, chunky, mule, and lobster claw. We did it. <laughs> if your closet don't look like that, what, what you doing? And if you're a fella, then do you, if you're a fella, tag me in. I'll share your video because I, I, I'm not doing uh, men shoes. Sorry. Not sorry. Okay. <laughs> that was fun. Yes. I got it all out of my system. Mm -hmm. All right. So upcoming. What do we have upcoming? What do I have to finish? Because I knew I took a little left turn. I was like, oh, I got to hurry and talk about shoes. Because the summer's coming. Because in the middle of July, it will be too late. So we're going to come back and revisit. And I'm going to make sure I hit all of these. You know, I know we did budget. So I'm not going to uncover it. Um, oh, yes. Cash apps are appreciated. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go back, look at the playlist, make sure I hit Haute Couture, Designer, Bridge, Contemporary, Better, Moderate, Budget, Mass. I think I missed like two, right? I'll fix, I, I, I promise you, we, we will revisit this, okay? And um, after I figure out which ones I miss, we're going to go forward, start talking about designers. Then we're going to start talking about how you can express yourself. Now, ignore that right three words that define the essence of fashion for you. Well, ignore that part. Words that matter. Because when I found this, I didn't want to chop it up because I didn't want to. But, yeah, when you think about your wardrobe and being the fashionista that we are um, or claim to be, think about it. Exclusivity, identity, authenticity, creativity, freedom, and expression. That is fashion. It is, remember, express yourself. Right? Shout out to Salt and Pepper. When are they going to do a versus? Okay. Who would they do a versus with? I'll wait. But anyway, yeah. Queen Latifah? No. She would. Yeah. Uh-uh. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> I was bored. I didn't watch the last one. I'm not even going to say their name. They old. They was tired. I was embarrassed. But anyway, <laughs> that's why I shared somebody's video. I said, I'm not talking about that. I'm, I'm, they're going to be embarrassed. I don't know. Okay. Words that matter as far as fashion. Now, these are the things we're going to be talking about when I when I discuss each and every designer. I'm going to pick 10 because why? There's a million of them. Diplomats. I, I'll be dead. I'll, I'll give you a head start. I'll give you 10. I, I, I Three top ones I like. I'm going to go three I don't like. We're going to roast them. And then we'll do discovery, three discoveries, and then I'll just pick one off for something particular, like uh, somebody that only um, designs like wedding gowns. You know what I mean? We'll figure it out. But yeah, words that matter. Use these words, put these words in your lexicon, no matter who you are, for what you do. Uh, speak purely and correctly from your heart you, you know don't be phony or fake you know authenticity it's just a word don't be afraid of it you know In ex exclusivity you know whatever however you're speaking make sure it's you're using the word correctly but yeah don't be afraid where this is class culture over here that's that's what you're gonna get when you come over here job and 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 be good with it yeah right Thank you, guys. We did it. It's only 10 o'clock on the East Coast. It's, it's only 7 here in San Francisco. I made it. So in real time, I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much, so much Hearts of Gold. Yes, I am pumped. 
this Gatorade, it's only got electrolytes in there, but I am feeling better and I, I might, I'm getting all tongue tied for no reason. I appreciate you guys. If you ever have any questions, ask me, email me, text me, call me, put it in a live chat, be polite, or you can put it in a comment, you know, under a video. You can even, do you know how you can look at, you pull up a person's channel, right? Then you look at videos. Well, let me look at it right now as I describe it. Okay. It says home videos, playlist, community membership for me, channels about, and then you'll see the word discussion. Oh, I believe, I think if anyone hits it, they can see it, but we get those. I am a, I pay attention to my channel, even when I'm working. So if you leave me a question or uh, a comment, I, I try to, I like seeing new people leave uh, questions and comments too. I try to get back at you. But some people play this game where you put something down there and you'll ask me something and then I'll go under that video and look for your question and it's not there. I'm not as answering you. That's like cat and mouse. I, I don't like, I'm a whole grown woman. Don't act like that. Get a Google free phone number if you're scared to give out your real phone number. My phone number I use here is a business phone number. It's free and clear for my real number. So, I mean, it's it's uh, relax, you know. You know how I roll. I, I'm a very I'm a professional person. Oh, yes, I am. Whether you like it or not. And 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 it's okay to do research and it's okay to stand your ground to fight back because I know which, where you went right there in, in your mind. I, I know I feel you hearts ago, but no, miss me. Let's stay focused and I'll see you next Friday for another Fashion Friday. I appreciate you. Go buy some shoes, boo. Okay. Bye.